Hey everyone, Jason Wackerly here. Today I'm going out and fishing white bass and walleyes. I have a couple hours to blow before dark. I'm gonna fish into the night a little bit probably, but I haven't been doing too good out here on the river this spring so far with the muddy water and the low water at night. I don't know what's wrong with the clarity because low water, we don't normally see such muddy conditions, but uh, We'll see what happens, hope for the best. I'm gonna be throwing three-way rigs with Berkeley Gulp with a pencil lead sinker. I'll show you guys that. And I'll be casting some jigs and plastics. We'll see what happens. Let's hope for the best. Let's get out there. All right, only took 23 minutes to get the first one. And it was a little dinky white bass. So I hope they get bigger than that. What do we have here? <coughs> this is a walleye, that's a big walleye, but I'm thinking carp. Put them in the back. Good fight, but Man, I thought it was a walleye at first. It wasn't fighting as much, and then once he saw the shoreline, then he started to go. Oh, there we go. Thanks for the help. I appreciate it. Stop moving. <laughs> there we go. Where's that hook? It's somewhere in his back. There it is. Thanks so much for the help. Oh man. Back into the river. Bye bye. <laughs> Thanks, man. I'm just gonna throw this Berkeley Galt minnow on the three way. Decided to move to a place that had more current. Place I've caught fish before, but not as many white bass in recent years as I have walleyes in this general area. You catch fish up and down this whole river. So don't be afraid to try anywhere you want. Clarity is a little bit better. Just seen a fish jump over here. Oops, got one. On the first cast. This feels like a walleye. Please be a walleye. This feels like a nice fish. What is this? Stand down. Walleye. Nice. Oh, don't, I don't think he's legal. Job. Should have given myself more line. I'll just flip him up. Nope. All right. That was only about 16 inches long, anyways. But at least we know there's fish biting. That was good. I'm just using. All I'm using is two point. 5 inch Berkeley Galt minnows. I do really well on these things for walleyes and white bass. Crappies. 
perch, all that stuff. Out here it's mainly walleyes, white bass, and crappies. We get some perch sometimes. My minnow kept messing up. It has to be straight, otherwise it's pretty much useless. Just like so. Right now, I'm gonna show you guys the type of hook I use when I'm using 2.5 to 3 inch Berkeley Galt minnows on the Wolf River three-way rigs that you guys seen in this video, catching fish. What I do is I buy these Eagle Claw bait holder hooks in size six. And the reason why I like these is because there's a two, sharp little barbs underneath the shank of the hook and that holds that minnow onto the hook a little bit better it has something to catch onto so it doesn't slide back when you're jigging the rig through the river but these hooks come bent to the side and kind of dull so what i do is i take a little bit of time with a hook file you want to buy a hook file that has lines, not X's. The ones with the X's are way too heavy duty. You just need skinny little lines going down the file. And get yourself a little needle nose pliers. Take that hook. I just like grabbing it from the side. And bend it straight. Just like so, so it's straight. And then when you sharpen a hook, you don't wanna go down the hook, you wanna go up on the sides of the hook and on the back of the hook. Don't touch the barb because if you, unless you want a barbless hook that comes out of the fish's mouth easier, or if you're, you're like a catch and release fisherman, a lot of guys use barbless. But you just go one, two on one side, one, two on the other. Do the front side of the hook. And then I just kind of make kind of a pyramid type sharpening uh, edge on the hook. I don't know if that makes sense. But it doesn't take much. You just got to kind of use common sense don't take too much metal off the hook because even if your hook is needle sharp if you don't have enough metal on the tip of the hook the hook will just bend or break on the tip but this is what we do for those wolf river rigs with that berkeley gulp i've seen a lot of guys well not a lot of guys i don't even see many people using berkeley gulp on three ways it's kind of Something I started doing like probably the year Berkeley Gulp came out. It, it's been many years, but most guys use streamer flies and everything. And I've had some surprised faces when people see me using gulp instead of flies in many days catching 10 to their one fish. But sometimes flies are the thing to go with and gulp don't work at all. It's, it all depends on the day but I just gave that hook a nice sharp point and straightened it. And that's how you fish those Berkeley Galt minnows. That's the perfect hook. It's the Eagle Claw bait holder. You could get away with the plain shank size sets. I actually accidentally bought the plain shank thinking they were the bait holder because Walmart doesn't like to put things where they belong and they just throw things anywhere, some of their workers. So I grabbed a pack of them off the shelf. They were all size six. I get home and I'm like, oh, these ones are plain shank and these ones are bait holder. You could get away with using a plain shank, but that minnow is gonna slide down the hook, slide down the hook, and you're gonna have to constantly keep fixing it. 
So with that, those two little barbs, those bait holder barbs on the bait holder style hook, it sticks inside that plastic and holds it on there straight. Let's get back to fishing. Back to business here. Water's so low I can barely reach stupid fish with my net without bending over. Ah, oh, just had one. Oh, oh man, jeez. Wonder if they're all walleyes or if there's white bass in there with them. That's really something. Got one. All right. Eagle, bald eagle. Right over while well, I'm catching a fish. Wow, that's awesome. Ugh. What do I got here? White bass. Keeper too. Nice one. Just seen a bald eagle flying over while I caught this fish. Let's see if we can get a few more. Let's put them down right here for now. But I only need about five or ten. I'll be happy. There we go. That'll work. That will work. Oh, I had another one. Oh man. Now my minnow's probably all messed up, but I'm still gonna jig it anyways. Got one. Yes. Ooh, this is a big fish. That's a big fish. This is a walleye. This is a walleye. No way that's a white bass. It's a big walleye too. Going for, oh man, going for my net. That's a nice walleye. Yes, awesome. That's a legal fish. That has to be legal. Oh yeah, big fish. Swallowed it. There we go. Nice healthy fish. Ah, there we go. I'm gonna have to go get my strainer. Awesome. All right, let's get another walleye. It's almost dark, so I hope this bite don't stop. The water clarity sucks here this year. Man, those walleyes are fighting in that current. I'm telling you that much. You just gotta feel the bottom. Just jig really slow. Feel for everything. If you feel scraping, tapping, a pull, any weight, set the hook. A single tap sometimes, oop, like that. You just never know. Sometimes it's a snake, sometimes it's a fish. There's one. Got him. 
What do we have here? Just fighting like a white bass, but it also feels like a walleye a little bit. Can't even tell yet. It's got some weight to it though, it's probably a walleye. Yep, another walleye. There we go. Not a bad fish. Not a legal fish though. There we go. It's just about dark. I had to change my dalt minnow. Again, I'm using a 10 inch, about an eight to 10 inch leader on my sinker and six foot leader to a number six hook and a 2.5 inch Berkeley Gulp minnow. Just jigging it off the bottom. Sometimes it's the ticket, sometimes it's not. Sometimes they want bigger plastics like Mozzie's Pulsers, Berkeley Ripple Shads. Kalen grubs. But sometimes you gotta go small. And use something that looks natural like a minnow. You never know. It's usually a good bet just to go with a three-way rig with a Berkeley Gulp minnow or a live minnow. Can't go wrong with that. Oh, got one. There we go. There we go. What is this? Little walleye. There we go, folks. Pop that sucker off. There we go. Aww, the baby walleye. I have no light right now, so just showing you guys tail fins. It's like a cigar shaped walleye. I don't think I've ever caught a walleye this small. So tiny, nothing to brag about. All right, I finally had some light here. I'm just trying to use up this gulp minnow as much as possible. They keep pulling it down. I'm getting a lot of light bites, but I've also caught some small walleye, so stay tuned. I've got about nine nice sized walleyes now, one legal, and a couple tiny, tiny ones. So I hope that I can hook some of these fish that are biting really light. Could be white bass, could be baby walleyes. Stay tuned. All right, folks, we are back and I got another fish here. I don't know how big it is. Trying to get some footage here for you guys. This one has some shoulders on it. There we go. This might be a legal fish. Keep its head down so I can net this sucker. What do we got here? Hopefully something legal. I don't know. Barely had him hooked. Some nice fish. But I don't know if it's gonna go. Oh no. 16 inches.
Man, it's a fat 16 incher. All right, let's get another one. Another fish now. This one actually feels a little nicer. But I keep saying that, and they're all undersized. They have to be 18 inches now. What do we have here? Nice walleye. Got the, he's got that burger gulp minnow right in his mouth. Nice fish. All right, we are back again with another fish. One cast after the one I just caught. Just gonna flip this guy. There we go. Uh, I think he's gonna go about 17 inches. Seventeen inches. Uh. I love catching fish, but I want some for dinner. Give me back that gulp minnow. And he was hooked. There we go. Nice walleye. Spawned out female. There we go. Well, we have another walleye on here, folks. And it's been one after another. I should just start filming, but I'm running out of battery. I'm gonna have to go get some more batteries for my car. Wow, this one's actually fighting good. Oh, right up the wall. They're all that 17 inch, 16 inch mark. Just another one. Let's get them back. All right, I'm gonna try to get a fish on video for you guys. Cause they're biting one after another. But now that I got the camera rolling, I don't know if they'll bite. <laughs> They always do that. I'm working with limited batteries today because I wasn't expecting to be out past dark. They are biting. We just had a warm front roll in after a, about a four day cold front. It was bitter cold. It's about 50 degrees now. When I got here, it was 42. The wind died down, the clouds moved out, pressure dropped, and I think that coinciding with this moonrise period during the sunset is really helping the fishing lately. Last night, my brother and I were slaying rainbow trout and brook trout on rapalas. During this time period, now I'm slaying walleyes. I've caught 17 fish now. I haven't even got them all on video. It's ridiculous. And I'm sure it's not just this spot either. It's I saw the guys across the way catch a few fish too. Always a siren when you're trying to film or a train or 
loud people. <laughs> Bunch of cars. Casting it out there and letting the current kind of sweep it this way and working it back. There's not much more I can say about it. You just got to make sure your sinker is ticking bottom. And think about this. You're connected to that minnow. So every little jig you make, you're pulling on that minnow and hook leader. Or that hook leader, I'll call it. The sinker is just ticking the bottom. You're just feeling the bottom with the sinker and you're working the minnow. And minnows don't just dart up current stronger than walleyes and other fish. They kind of struggle. So you're kind of just giving it some wiggles, some jigs, jigging it, hoping that something bites it. I caught like five walleyes in a row. Should have been filming it. All right. The bite kind of slowed down. I'm still getting bites on the three-way right here and there, but super light bites that I keep missing. So I started throwing a plastic and I got a huge Huge walleye I lost. I'm talking personal best possibly. I'm really not joking. I'm very disappointed. I was on the phone with my wife and I just had the phone strapped to my GoPro chest cam thing. You know, we're just talking, so it's I'm not saying it's her fault or anything. But uh all of a sudden I felt like I had a snag. And I lift the rod tip up, and this fish is on the surface, he flaps off, takes off. He just kind of moved his head back and forth lightly. My jig and plastic popped out. I was actually using a Kitek, but I'm going to try... I was using a Kitek Easy Shiner, but I'm going to try this big gulp minnow, because gulp, the smaller gulp minnows have been working today. So I'm going with the 4 inch now. I'm going to see if that works. Glow in a dark jig head. Can't hurt, you know. I've used a lot of glow in a dark jig heads out here over the years. Let's see what happens. So I know there's a big mama in here right now. And that's... A good sign. I caught a lot of undersized fish today that would have been legal two years ago. They were all, most of them were 15 to 17 and a half inches, and it really sucks that, you know, we only got one today that was legal. Two white bass along with them, so we have enough fish for a meal for me and my wife, so I'm happy, but. Hoping for a couple more legals so I can have a couple fish fries. Got a snag now. There's something down here that just keeps getting me. Oh, almost fell in the river. Oh, almost fell in the river. That ground just broke right there. What the hell? Wow, I was walking on this wall. Look at this. I just almost broke my ankle and almost went in the river. Thank God. Son of a bitch. Excuse my language. Wow. Embarrassing, but at the same time, that's a lesson learned. Wow. Thank God I didn't go in that river. But here's that rock I tripped on. That is really old, old rock. That is a safety hazard. I didn't even notice. 
how much of this is breaking away. Because this is crazy. I almost went in the river. My ankle's killing me now. <sighs> Go limp back to my fishing gear here. All right, we had a really good sunset bite, the night bite. I only caught about four more fish. I missed a few. I lost a giant. I'm really pissed off about that. Almost broke my ankle falling, almost falling in the river because the wall I was walking on broke away and I almost went in the river. It was very uh, interesting and painful. I hope they fix that wall sometime soon. But uh, I caught about, I'm guessing t about 20 to 25 fish. I didn't get every single one on video. They were all 15, 16, 17. And I caught a few white bass. I kept two of them. Kept one legal walleye. So I have enough for a meal for me and my wife. And it was just basic three-way rig fishing. I mean, Wolf River rig, three-way rig, whatever you want to call it. I used a five to six foot leader to a number six hook, 2.5 inch Berkeley Gulp minnow, half ounce pencil lead sinker, tied to about eight to 10 inches of line. I was using 12 pound test for the line and 10 pound test for the main line. Power Pro, medium light action rod, basic. I mean, you just have to make sure the sinker is on the bottom and you just give it really light twitches. Just picture a, a minnow struggling up current. Don't overwork it or jig it too hard. You're just flicking your wrist and if you feel any tension, any weight, any tap, tapping, a pull, whatever, set the hook. Sometimes you'll set the hook into a snag, but oftentimes it's a fish. And after a while, you'll get to know what you're feeling between rocks and bites and everything else. It takes practice. A good jigging hand on the river catches most of the fish. There's oftentimes 10 guys could be throwing the same exact lure and one guy's catching the fish. It's because that one guy is working it just right and every once in a while a blind squirrel finds a nut and today i found some fish i'm really happy got a few for dinner got some good video so i'm happy if you guys like this video subscribe to my page hit the like button take you guys out on my fishing adventures and show you guys what i'm doing how it's done take care Good luck fishing.